Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation on here with this week's challenge, which Tanil and I set for each other. Um, I'm going to leave Tanil's link down below so you guys can see what she created. So this week's challenge was to create ma a matchbox. And I hadn't made a matchbox before, so this was a great idea from Tanil, and I think it's so cute. I ended up going onto Pinterest to try and find uh, my matchbox template. The template that I did end up finding, the measurements sort of didn't really work out for me. Uh, I don't know if it's because I wanted to make my matchboxes quite sturdy and not, you know, just like a flimsy box. So I have a feeling that because I double layered my paper, it just seemed like the outer side of the matchbox wouldn't go over the inside. Like it just seemed too small and I had a lot of um, trouble with it. So I tried a few matchboxes. They didn't quite work out. I ended up having to go back and trying to create like my own and try and change the dimensions a bit. But in the end, I managed to come up with these two matchboxes, which I thought turned out really cute. The measurements still aren't perfect, but yeah, I sort of just had to improvise and sort of do what I could. So um, yeah, quite happy with how they turned out. I thought they turned out really cute. I just wanted to sort of keep them simple and pretty. So I didn't actually add a whole heap to them. I decided to use, I'm pretty sure I used the Marigold uh, paper pad and maybe Sweet Story. It might have been, yeah, I can't quite remember now. I think it was Marigold actually. Maggie Holmes Marigold paper. So it might have been a bit of, yeah, I think I did a mix actually, guys. I think I did some Marigold and some Sweet Story. So, but yeah. <laughs> Um, I ended up adding some of this pretty pink vinyl that Tanil actually gifted to me. And I just wanted to stitch that across the top and give it that really bright pink sort of pop of colour. And I thought it turned out really pretty. And I also added one of these gorgeous little bows that Tanil made and um, gifted to me as well. So that was the pattern that I chose. And then on the inside, I chose the pink like polka dot pattern. And then inside, we have a whole heap of pretty little heart embellishments that I made. super cute and I think I made these using um Paige Evans oh just trying to think of the name of the collection actually can't quite remember pick me up I think it is so I ended up using yeah Paige Evans pick me up um like a six by six paper pad that I had and I thought the colors just all went perfect together so I got a few of those um, pretty little hearts inside there. I thought that was a good way to gift your little embellishments um, to your pen pals by sending them in one of these cute little match boxes. And it's quite sturdy. So, And I just used um, the paper times two pretty much. So I just stuck down one piece of paper onto another piece of paper, like back to back, if that makes sense just to make it a bit more sturdy. So yeah, happy with how that turned out. That turned out pretty cute considering all the trouble I had with the measurements and trying to figure it out and get the right sizing. You definitely need to have um, your outer piece 
a lot bigger than the inside piece so for those um yeah wanting to know just try and make it a little bit bigger maybe if you find a template on um, the internet like I did so just maybe try and go on the outer side of the lines to give it a bit more room and then we have this one here this one I used again another pretty like vinyl with the stars that Tennille gifted me and I stitched that on to some sweet story paper Again, I just love like the simplicity of it. And these pretty flowers I ended up finding from um, Spotlight. I thought they were really pretty. And then this one's a little bit harder to get. It's a little bit more snug. So in this one... I added some pretty flowers that I created. So some of my flower embellishments. So cute. And I also used um, Paige Evans to create these ones as well. So very, very cute. Very happy with how these turned out something different to create which I hadn't made before so there we have it there's my two little matchboxes so I can't wait to see what Tennille has made I'm sure whatever she's done is going to be absolutely amazing um, but yeah um, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying our weekly challenges as well and for if anyone wants to join in feel free to and um, yeah hope you all have a wonderful day and take care guys I'll catch you with next week's challenge bye